Hi, in this lesson we're going to be looking at matching graphs and equations. There are several type, types of problems where you're going to have to match either a graph with some equations or an equation with some graphs. So for example, in number one, which graph, graph represents y equals 5 times the fraction 2 thirds raised to the x power? Okay, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my calculator to help me. I am going to grab myself a calculator page. So if I hit control and page, I can add a graphs page. And I can type in 5 parentheses, 2 over 3, close parentheses, raise 2. So to get that x power, we're used to hitting this x squared button to get the square up there, but to get an x up there, right next to that x squared, there's this little up arrow. When you click on that, notice it puts a little empty box up there, and you can hit x. Also, if your calculator doesn't have this grid, I'm going to show you how to add that. So first I'm just going to hit enter so I can see the graph. And then just to show you, under menu and then settings, you can choose to have yourself a lined grid because I think it defaults to no grid and so you would just look like that. It might be a little bit easier if you have a grid to kind of match where points should line up. So again, that's menu, settings, and I'm going to get a line grid. Okay. All right, so if I look one, two, three, four, five, I can see it's crossing at five on the y-axis. And then it's going down and to the right. So, well, the only one that's going down and to the right here is going to be this one. And we can just check to make sure one, two, three, four, five. It is crossing right here at the five. So A is going to be my correct answer there. Okay, let's look at the next one. All right, the graph of a linear function is shown on the grid. So I've got just a plain old line, okay, and I want to know which one of these equations is going to make that line, okay? Now, if I remember a little bit about algebra, I can remember that I'm crossing my y-axis right here at 2, okay? And then I can see I'm going up still, so I have a positive slope because I'm going uphill as I go from left to right. So I have a positive oops, slope. So I should be able to eliminate A because it's got a negative 4 thirds slope. And I know I'm crossing my y-axis, so my y-intercept is at 2. So I should have a plus 2 on the end, which this one doesn't have and this one doesn't have. So I can use elimination to figure out my answer is going to be C. But you can also use your calculator. If you already have a graph in there, you can either just open another graph or you can double click on the one that's there, double tap on it with your using your trackpad here. Okay? And then delete out whatever equation is there. And then I'm just going to type in this 3 over 4x plus 2. So 3 over 4 is really 3 divided by 4. X plus 2. And we'll see that we get the same answer. And just to kind of check, I can see 1, 2, I'm crossing between 2 and 3 over here. 1, 2, I'm crossing between 2 and 3 over here. So they are the same graph. Number 2, the answer is C. Let's look at number 3. For number 3, I have a quadratic function shown on the grid. So I notice all my answers here are x squared. I can see it's opening downward. So again, if I wanted to do like I did on the last one, and I wanted to just eliminate some things, I'm going to switch up my color here. Um, I know if it's opening downward, in front of the x squared, I have to have a negative. So I know I'm definitely not going to be c, because I'm going to be a negative. And then I can just kind of just check, type them in, and see which one matches out of the ones I haven't been able to eliminate. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in negative x squared plus 3x minus 4. So negative x squared plus 3x minus 4 is a. And I can see that does not look anything like the graph I have there. So that is not going to be my answer. OK. So then I'm going to do the next one. Negative, oops, let me. So you would just use your trackpad to come here and then double click on there to get, or double tap because you're using your finger, to be able to get in there. And then 
type in your new equation. So negative x minus 3x plus 4. We just switch the minus and the negative, right, on the 3 and the 4. And when I hit enter, oops, I forgot a square. I could tell because it didn't curve, right? So I need to put that square in there. There we go. All right, so does this graph look the same? It crosses at 1, it crosses at 1, and then over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the x-axis, the x-intercepts are the same. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. The y-intercept looks the same. So I would say B is my correct answer. Okay, so again, use your graphing calculator to help you match up your two graphs, okay, with the remaining. If you can eliminate some just by what you know, that's great. If not, you just type them all four in until you find the one that matches, and that's okay. All right, again, to turn the grid on and off from the menu, we go to settings, and right here on grid, you can turn your grid on and off. You can even do like a dotted grid, it looks like. That if you want to do a dotted grid instead. Again, that was just under settings after you click menu to turn that grid on and off. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you're checking with your teacher or your tutor.